This video is on how to do pH calculations when you have a strong acid, strong base titration. So we're just going to go through an example problem uh, to illustrate this. So the problem says calculate the pH when the following quantities of 0 0.100 molar or moles per decimeter cubed HCl have been added to 25 milliliters of 0.1 molar NaOH. So we've got two different amounts of HCl. But first what we have to understand is what's our equation. So HCl plus NaOH will give us water and our salt will be NaCl. So the reason we need this is that we can see that our ratio is one to one for our HCl and our NaOH. So we know where our equivalence point. That will be when we have equal numbers of moles. All right, so before we even start to think about like how much HC and all that, how much HCl, sorry, and then how that relates to our NaOH, let's find out how many moles of NaOH we have. Because we're given a volume and a molarity or a concentration, we can find the moles because the moles is what's going to help us find concentration later for the H plus and the pH. And the moles is also going to help us determine where we are in our curve. Are we before the equivalence point, at the equivalence point, or after it in terms of our titration? So uh, my uh, moles will be my concentration times my volume So for my NaOH. So my concentration is 0 0.100 moles per liter, and that'll be times... 25 milliliters, but I'm going to convert that to liters, so 0 0.02500 liters. So this gives me 0 0.002500 moles of my NaOH, which is the same as my OH minus concentration. All right, so this right here is an important piece. Okay, and that's not changing throughout our whole... Um, titration. We're just changing how much HCl is added. This is what's in our flask. This is staying at this amount. Okay, so now we can start to look at part A. All right, so A now gives us a volume of HCl and we have a concentration of HCl. So let's figure out how many moles of HCl we're adding. Okay, so same thing. So moles are going to be my concentration times my volume. So 0 0.100 moles per liter times 0 0.02490 liters. So this gives me 0 0.002490 moles of my HCl, which is the same as my H plus concentration. All right, so now we're going to compare these two values. We're going to compare our H plus and our OH minus. And I can see that I have more OH minus. So my moles of OH minus are greater than my moles of H plus, right? I've got 0 0.2, or sorry, 0 0.00249 moles of H plus, which is less than 0 0.002500 moles of OH minus. This means that I'm before the equivalent point because if I'm starting with a base, right, this is my starting value, my pH initially is going to be greater than 7. So if I have more OH still here, my pH is still right, greater than 7, but, um, that's, oh, sorry, not but, that's due to excess OH minus. So we can find the pH based on how much excess OH minus. So now we're going to subtract. So if I have 0 0.002500 moles of OH minus, minus 0 0.00, 2490 moles of H plus, that gives me a difference of 0 0.000, oh wait, sorry, too many. I should have four zeros here. One zero moles of OH minus excess. And that's what's going to determine our pOH, right? So our OH minus concentration is going to be our moles, right, over our volume. And the volume is going to be the total of our solution, so our whole thing. 
So our moles are 0 0.000010. 0 and our total volume is going to be, in this case, um, 0.24, sorry, 0 0.02490. So our milliliters here plus our milliliters here. Okay? So that's a total of 49.9 milliliters or 0 0.04990 liters. So when I type this in, I get a concentration of 2 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter or decimeter cube, same thing. So now if I have an OH minus concentration, I can find a pOH because that's the negative log of that, so 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So my pOH is 3.7, which means then that my pH is 14 minus 3.7, which is 10.3. So here's my answer to part A, which makes sense, right? Our pH is greater than 7. We have excess OH minus, so we're in the basic range. All right, so now let's do part B. What if I have this much HCl? So we're going to add more. How does this change? Well, think about this. If I'm adding more HCl, it's going to get more acidic. So it's going to go closer to 7, possibly beyond 7, if, depending on if I have excess OH minus or H plus. So let's do the same thing at the start. Let's find our moles of H plus. So, oops. all right, so B. So our moles are going to be our concentration. So 0 0.100, that hasn't changed. Moles per liter times our volume, which is 25.10, so 0 0.02510. Okay, so this gives us a, um, sorry, 0 0.002510 moles of H+. Okay, so now we're going to compare this value with our amount of OH minus. And if I go back up, that's in purple up here. So 0 0.0025. So now I have more H plus. So now my moles of H plus are greater than my moles of OH minus. That means my pH will be less than 7 because I have excess H plus. I have more H plus than OH minus. So now the question is how much? Okay, so 0 0.002510 moles of H plus minus 0 0.002500 moles of OH minus. So this gives me a difference of, same difference as before, but now this is moles of H plus. So now we can find our concentration of H plus, which will be our moles. over our total volume. So our total volume now is 25.1 plus 25, so 0 0.0501 liters. So this gives me a value of 2 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. So my pH is a negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So my pH is 3.7, which makes sense because we have more H+, plus, so this is more acidic. So here would be my answer for part B. So calculating this, the key is this. You have to compare your moles, right? So you got to find moles of both, and then say, what do you have more of? What do you have X in excess? Find out how much excess, right? And then find your concentration. If whether it's H plus or OH minus, and then you can calculate pH, pOH, the other concentration, anything at that point.